All right, so I want to show everybody a cool little trick that I learned from Scott Yeager uh, of Industrial Music Electronics, or the Harvestman as it's usually called. With this module right here, which is the Polyvox modulator from the Harvestman, it's essentially a clone of the sample hold circuit from the legendary Soviet Polyvox synthesizer, um, you know, revered by synth nerds everywhere. But uh, essentially, it's a very simple module. You've got an L a built in LFO. As you turn the knob, you can see the rate increase um, on the LFO. Pretty simple there. Uh, you have a sample and hold circuit right here with sample, hold, and output. Down here you have four outputs, you have a noise output, you have a square wave LFO, a triangle wave LFO, and an, and an inverted square wave LFO. Very, very simple module. Uh, but uh, Scott showed me a trick with this. Uh, by the way, he's a very nice guy if you talk to him. I know a lot of people say that he's a little standoffish, but he's not if you talk to him. He's a really nice guy. So we all knew that this is the white noise output. So if I plug this in, I've got this cable going to my mixer, so you should be able to hear it. If I plug this in, voila, you get white noise. Nothing special there, we've all heard white noise before. Now that white noise is normal to hear, but he told me that inside the module, um, it's actually pink noise. And I'm not the expert on this, so someone might post a comment and correct me, but I believe white noise is filtered pink noise, or maybe I have that backwards or something like that. But basically the way that you filter the noise, you get different um, frequency ranges. So again, this is white noise. Now, if you plug something into here, it's gonna break the connection, and of course, you're not gonna hear anything. But if you plug it in just enough to make contact, but not enough to break the connection, you'll hear the pink noise. So, again, pink noise and white noise. So you can hear the white noise is a little higher frequency, the pink noise is a little lower frequency. So it's kind of a cool little trick. If you want to generate pink noise, you just don't plug the cable in all the way. Now, I will tell you, I tried this and it's a little diff difficult to work with because you get it going and you just bump the cable and it stops. So you do have to be a little careful with it, but it's kind of a cool trick to know. So uh, that's kind of a tidbit. You'd only get that if you talk to the uh, owner of the company and uh, it's a pretty cool little tip that he told me.